have been three teacher unions, Nat Nakwat and Teo, have repeated calls that it will resist any attempt by Omega schools to dupe parents. According to the teacher unions, these Omega schools are operating without the approval of a Ghana Education Service. The teacher unions at the news conference were disturbed. The Omega schools are still extorting monies from parents. Three cities per pupil per day amount to 600 Ghana cities in the academic year of 40 weeks. Most families with two or more children are compelled to make the difficult choice of which child should attend school and who should not. They complained the schools are solely financed by international giants such as DFID and the World Bank. At Omega, the claim of efficiency in terms of cost saving comes as a result of the exploitation of teachers' labor. Very low salaries are paid to both teaching and non-teaching staff who are indiscriminately recruited. The unions again assured they will engage the Ghana Education Service and Parliament to ensure the Omega schools are regulated. The danger that we are um, uh, making reference to is the fact that today, if we are talking about how teachers are trained compared to what is happening at the Omega schools, they take about three weeks to train a teacher. Meanwhile, in Ghana, the minimum qualification for a qualified teacher should undergo training for not less than three years. Okay.